Hi guys, Penny Rose Journals, how are you doing? Um, yeah, today I have pulled out some um, coffee dyed and batch dyed um, uh, file dividers that I had in my um, filing cabinet. Um, yeah, these have all been sort of stacking up over the over time, I guess. Um, occasionally I pick them up from uh, Goodwill or wherever else and what to do with them. Um, so I decided today to make some like library pockets out of them. Now I chose to leave the um, holes for putting them in a leave right file on them um, when I made the pockets. I just thought it looked interesting but you could certainly cut those off. They're not necessary to have on there um, if you don't like the look. I also cut the tabs off um, because a lot of the time they ended up in the wrong place for what I was doing and I just thought they looked weird so <laughs> but anyway I'll show you how I made them as per my usual rule there is no measuring um, <laughs> I use the lines on my mat if I want to measure anything um, yeah I just fold them in half uh, lengthways like this just to wherever I feel like is a good spot to fold them to um, yeah <laughs> so yeah you just got to judge what it is you um, you like the look of really now I'm cutting three of these out of each sheet um, yeah they divide nicely into to three I think and they make a pocket of a nice sort of size it's very similar to what you would find in the back of a library book um, back in the day I don't even know if they have these in library books anymore because well why would they uh, <laughs> so yeah but anyway they're easy to make all I'm doing basically is tearing it into four uh, three three different pieces so yeah um, basically they're relatively the same they're not exactly the same um, but they're within a couple of mil so um, and because I folded it up what I'm doing here is basically measuring a section of the longer side and I'm going to cut that off either side um, and then cut it at a slight angle and that is what is going to make our pocket have foldable sides so we can stick it closed but if you watch what I'm doing, you will soon work it out because my explanations, well, while people tell me that they make sense, I'm not sure they're not just being nice. <laughs> to me, they always seem confusing and long-winded and very roundabout. So yeah, please just watch what I'm doing and I'm pretty sure it'll become self-explanatory pretty fast.
Of course, rounding the top of these pockets is also not something that necessarily needs to be done. It's just what I liked the look of. So um, I'm using my bone folder to fold the side tabs down just to give it a nice crease. Um, as I've, well, as you know, these are actually fold dividers, so they're yeah, fairly decent, sturdy cards. So I need them to. Um, really have a good crease in them because I want to stick these little um, side flaps down now. Um, so I'll pop a piece of a bit of glue on each um, flap and then I'm going to just tuck them under my mat and just let them sit under there while they glue shut and I will get on with making a few more.
Okay, well that's another three made. Um, suffice it to say, I make many, many more, which I am not going to subject you to watching. Um, <laughs> once they're all dry, um, I will come back and we will make some um, little cards for them and we will also just decorate them up just a tiny bit. I don't want to do too much. Um, I would like to leave the bulk of the decoration for the journal they're going in when they go in a journal so um, but I'm going to put a few stamps on them just so that there's a bit of something so I'll be back when they're dry and what do you know that's right now so yep <laughs> here they all are I made a bunch of them um, yeah I just figured while I was doing them I might as well do every last single one of them so <laughs> Anywho, here they are, and I will get on with doing a little bit of stamping on them. Um, like I say, nothing over the top. I don't want them to be extra decorated. I just want them to have a little bit of something um, so that there's you know, not everything left to do when I put them in the journal. But, yeah, once we've done that, um, I've got a few um, dividers that I had left over that I decided not to make into um, pockets and I will use those to make cards for the pockets so yeah I'll um speed this up let you watch a little bit of the stamping and then move on to the cards because you know honestly <laughs> stamping <laughs> And here they are all stamped up a little so I used a couple of different stamps just for variety <laughs> I was gonna say just for stamps because it's actually a phrase that I use but that seemed a bit ridiculous so yeah sorry about the weird pause there um, <laughs> yes for a bit of variety I changed my stamp up um, I am going to use these file dividers to make um, cards for them I'm um, now this time I'm going to cut off the um, the holes where it's supposed to go into a um, leave arch fold file uh, I just don't want them on there for this um, I'll also cut off the tab um, and I will cut them into eight cards and they will be pretty much perfect for these little pockets so We'll get on and cut a few, shall we? This last piece was slightly wider than the rest, but I thought it might just work but unfortunately it does not it is too wide and I just cut a sliver off the side to make it the same as the others um, yeah I'm just going to cut the bits off that I told you I would then I will fold each of these four cards that I currently have in half and cut them and uh, yeah that will give me eight cards which I'm going to round the corners of and pop a stamp on the top and that's all I'm going to do with them.
and basically that's it there they are and I think they are super cute um, I will make some more cards and pop them all in my pockets and I will leave you guys with a few photos at the end um, yeah I hope you have enjoyed this little project it sort of grew on its own volition I wasn't planning on doing this today but um, I did have one of these um, dividers on my desk and picked it up and just started playing around with it and decided what I was going to make out of it and then I thought let's grab all the rest out of the filing cabinet and actually do something with them so yeah <laughs> I hope you guys might make some they're quite cute they do look a lot like library cards um, and pockets so I think they're quite a cute thing to pop into a journal and um, yeah <laughs> Thanks for being here. <laughs> I'll see you again next time. Bye.